Kick at 7 gives more control on arranging footprints that are newly imported in a new PCB. So in this lecture I'll show you what the new pack and move feature looks like and I'll contrast it with the way that it worked in the past. So to do that I'm going to use the MCU data log project and start with the schematic editor. You can see that this is the schematic for this particular project and I'm going to go to the layout editor and it looks like this. I'm going to put these two windows side by side. Obviously right now as you can see the layout is already populated so what I'll do I'm going to go to edit and then global deletions and remove footprints uh, track and vs and I'm going to leave the rest actually I remove text as well I'm going to leave the board outlines remove zones I'll keep the graphics and that should be enough for this demonstration so click on OK and yes and there's our layout with just the board outline the next thing to do is traditionally in previous versions of KiCad, that is, we would import the footprints from the schematic, click on update, PCB, close, and there's everything bundled together. And this is not too bad for this particular project because it's not a big project and it's only got a handful of components. But imagine that this was a computer motherboard, for example, with a lot of tiny and larger components, uh, hundreds and hundreds of those, you would end up with a cloud of components and you would then have to pick up each one of them and then individually put that component into its appropriate location and so on. So there will be a lot of work. So what you can do instead, I'm just going to undo, what you can do instead in KiCad 7 and use the enhanced pack and move feature is to take advantage of the interactivity and connectivity between the schematic editor and the layout editor. Let's look at this in action. So let's say that I first want to work with the EEPROM components. With the improved pack and move feature, you would go ahead and select those footprints in the schematic editor then switch over to the layout editor and in the layout editor press the P hotkey like that and that would select those specific items or footprints in the PCB editor and allow you to move them individually somewhere else like that. Let's repeat the same operation. Let's go to the clock group of components selected you know, to highlight it, you can see how the interactivity or the connection or communication between the two editors works. Those items are now selected in the PCB editor and activate the PCB editor, press the P hotkey, think of P as place, and then just uh, take the bundled set of footprints and place them somewhere else. Now, you can actually focus on those items. It's just a subset of the original set of footprints. You can easily move them to their appropriate locations. You can never go for a subset of a subset. So let's say here, I just want to focus on these items. Done. The P key on the PCB editor. Those are now grouped together. So I can place them right there. So immediately you can see that with the improved pack and move feature, you have a lot more control on the footprints that are imported in a fresh PCB editor so you can place them as you wish in and around the editor.